Hey guys, it's Anime K Swimbird. Whoa, my mailbox is going crazy. I gotta open this up. Stop freaking out. Oh, I ordered a lot of stuff. Uh, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I've only... I'll come back to that. Jeez, so much stuff going on. Okay, uh, I've gotta hurry here because I, I started playing a little later today. It's almost 7. And uh, I think Katrina is in the square thanks to the title screen showing me that. Oh. Josh is having a meteor shower, uh, but I'm gonna head over here and uh, go talk to Katrina before she closes up her tent, because I think she does that at 7, so I'm very close to to running out of time here. How's it going, Katrina? The great misfortune which is attempting to come down on you. Oh, there's a misfortune. Hi, Garden! <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's bring the Star Matrix into view. Have a seat. Alright, let's see what my clothes... I forgot to change my outfit. Alright, let's go and explore space together, my mystical cat friend. Ooh. Yes, it has come into view. In the skies above, Golden Venus, ruler of love, sighs over an unfixable broken heart. Oh no! From his, this place, I can see the signs. Oh yes, I can see disaster and broken hearts. Ornate accessory. This item will be the key to narrowly avoiding impending disaster. So I might not have very good relationship with my villagers for a little while, unfortunately. But, uh, I guess that's what I gotta do. I need to get enough, uh, fortunes told with Katrina because, uh, eventually she'll open up a shop in Main Street. And I think that's the last shop I'm gonna need here. Anyways, um, first thing I wanna do, well, past getting told that I'm gonna have disasters in love, is, uh, head over to the town hall because we got a little ceremony to hold. How's it going, Cranston? Oh, it's Moopy. Hey there, baby cakes. Did you need something? Let's talk, buddy. We never talk anymore. Aw, oh, man, I'm so hungry. I don't think I have the energy to shake a tree. Man, he's always wanting to eat. I guess, I think because he's a lazy villager. So, I, I keep talking about trying to get Brofina out of my town. Because she's definitely not one I'm fond of. But now that I think about it, it's like, unless I get a snooty villager, like another snooty villager, then... It will be very tough to, you know, find somebody with a unique personality or to replace her. So I think I, I'm not, I'm not going to push Brofina anymore. If she wants to leave, maybe I'll let her. I, it's nice to have, like, a little arch nemesis in town. But Mira, after her birthday party, sadly, I'm going to have to kick the, the future bunny out of here if I can. Because I've got two bunnies, like I said. And uh, I want to an exquisite wall. I want to get another animal variety. I'd rather not have, like two of the same, and I, I, between the two, I like Genji better, unfortunately, so, sorry if you guys like Mira, but I think she's the one villager, oh, shh, shh, shh. be cool, be cool, hey, how's it going, Mira? <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Adam Cottontail, so, is there something you need from me? Yeah, could you, could you leave? <laughs> oh, yeah, the snake owl thing you made, it's awesome, now I can hang out with all those folks who used to go to bed early, and I love that the stores are open late now, too. Alright, we're gonna head in, and let's have the ceremony. I'm not gonna do the Dream Suite today, because there's some other stuff I want to do, but I'm planning on doing that tomorrow, but I do want to have the ceremony for the Dream Suite, at least, just so we can start another Public Works project. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna go to Super TNT, the new store, and uh, after that, the last thing, I, I want to start another Public Works project, and that should probably fill up most of the day. Alright, let's go ahead the train station, or we're not even go. so, yeah, it's like, Isabel's not allowed to step on Main Street for some reason. She has to go to the dream station. Oh, here's the new lady that does the dream suite. I'm not sure what her name is, but we'll meet her soon. Da -da -da -da. Graham's here in his new kanji shirt. Got there's actually a good turnout. Oh look! So if there's a new message on the board at night, it's a little owl instead of a bird. Hooray for everyone! Oh, shooting flowers at my face. Um, <laughs> that's cool though, I haven't seen the little owl, because I, I play at night sometimes, but it's like, usually I'm going to the island or doing stuff like that at night. Alright, party poppin' time, bam. So yeah, I forgot about the owl, I probably would have scared it away before we got a good look at it. It's really cute and tiny. It's kind of funny that we have like, an owl, giant owls, like Blathers and Celeste, and then there's like a weird little owl. It's like Pokemon, how there's sometimes fish, even though there's real... There's, like, fish Pokemon and real fish. Oh, hey, I wanted to talk to you about something. I'm thinking of No! Probably on the 8th of this month. Seems like super good timing for me, sweatband. Anyway, I was worried about telling you, but there it is. 
What? No! Tangy, you're my favorite. You're one of my favorites, for sure. Wow, you really want me to stay, don't you? I guess this town just wouldn't be the same without me. Okay, I'll stay. Convince me. Thanks for putting the brakes on my plan, Shmoopy. Phew. Thank goodness. I keep almost losing our villagers that I like. Oh, there goes the owl. That was quick. Super TNT is open. And we're gonna go check that out real quick. Um, I want to check out the campsite. I forgot to... Oh, so Avery, the, uh, the one villager guy, is probably going to move in. I don't think he's set up yet. He's got to go pack stuff from his town. Yeah, there's nobody at the campsite. But hopefully he doesn't build his house somewhere horrible. We'll have to keep our eyes open for that in the coming days. I almost forgot. We're getting a new villager. All this talk of getting rid of villagers. And we're getting a new one. Shh, cicadas. Be quiet. Okay, we're going to head over to, to the new store. And then we'll finish up with uh, trying to do a public works project. I've, I've got one in mind that I want to start. Whoa. Super TNT. The music's different here. Is the music usually like this? Or is it changed because I've developed more? Maybe it's just at night it has different music. It's crazy. It has something to feel the rhythm of the steel drum in there. Man. Okay, <laughs> let's head in Super TNT. Oh, they got little... I like these little aprons. They look better than their gas station uniforms. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Grand Opie of Super TNT. Come on in. I wanted to let you know we've had a space for items that can be hung on walls. You can find them by looking at the back and the left of the store. You can't miss it. How decorative. So we only got two fortune cookies still. Ooh, was that a frog notepad? Oh, and there's... What is this thing? A breaker. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then uh, what else we got? I'm just trying to see. We got two types of paper now. Two carpets, two wallpapers, three tools. What is this thing? Ah, some melody paper. A fine item, yes. What is the... What is it? Does it help me make a song? The melody paper is a message card that can have an original melody attached to it. Sweet! Of course, presents can be attached as if they were stationary. Sweet! I like that, so I can, like, compose little songs and send a letter with a song. Uh, okay. Nah, it's alright. I think I get the gist from it. Alright. So I can buy, like, unlimited amounts of those. Do they stack? Because I'd like to know. Anyways. Okay, so we got... A regal dresser. I've got this. Oh, look at this pool. There's like a little duck in it. A backyard pool. Oh, that's adorable. I'll have to get that. I don't know where I'm going to put it in my house, but it's awesome. <laughs> Let's grab our fortune cookies while we're here. I've been uh, getting a lot of play coins. So yeah, whenever, whenever I cook something late at night, I always just, I just, you know, pace around with my, my 3DS's things and my, mine and Danielle's in my pockets. So, uh, get all of our play coins. So I've been pretty stocked up. I don't think I'm going to run out for a while. Playroom wall. Let's see. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I... <laughs> it's the When it repeats, it's not as cool, because there's like a ton of boats and a ton of planes, but... A rose wall. Well, that's too fancy for me. That looks like something that would be in High Garden. What do we got for some flooring here? Fancy carpet. I want to know what the exquisite... I got some type of exquisite carpet. I think I have the fancy carpet already. Let's head out of here after an opulent drug. Let's check it out. It's 7 o'clock. Alright, let's head out. The beetles and stuff should start being around town now. But yeah, this is nice. We got... Oh! I almost left without eating my fortune cookies. Let's chow down on these. But yeah, I, I like their return to their aprons again. Although I think eventually they'll probably be in suits. He who probably... He who believes he has a pure heart is probably just a beast in denial. That makes it sound like it's like a uh, wolf link or something. I'm not sure. And then what's this one? A green hat may just be the thing to inspire you towards adventure. Hmm. Something with Luigi? Possibly? It's the year of Luigi after all. Oops. I don't want to sell anything. Uh. Okay. As such, the price you... Uh, you're paid and what we can do might differ. Okay. So, I didn't mean to do that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure retail actually offers more bells for everything that you sell. So, let's turn in my fortune cookies and then we'll head out. I'll, I'll just quickly browse through the rest of the shops real quick. Just at least Abel's, because they usually have the more interesting stuff. And then we'll head out of here. A hero's cap! Sweet! Da da da! It's probably, I wonder if they use the Twilight Princess design, so that's why they're talking about a heart, like Zelda. Like, they have the heart containers, and then becoming a beast, like Wolf Link. Alright, and then what's this last one? 
Something with Luigi. Unless... Oh, wait. Maybe that was the Luigi one. Or the green cap one, because it's Link's hat. Triforce. Oh, sweet. I got two Zeldimes today. Oh, I've been waiting for the Triforce for a while. Let's try on the, uh, the heroes thing. Oh, nice little Link hat. This really clashes with my Kaneda outfit here. But I'm gonna, gonna wear that for now. Let's head out here. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. I had some thought about something. Oh, we need to go see Shrunk pretty soon. We got like an hour. But, oh, and also, let's head to Shampoodle and get another haircut real quick. <laughs> Remove that headgear. Uh, we'll do Shampoodle real quick and then we'll go into the Ables. There's so much stuff to do every day now. It's like, it, the videos are probably going to get longer and longer even though I try to cut them down. So I might not get to everything every day, guys, but let me know what stuff is your favorite. So I'll try to make sure that I do that every day, you know. I want to get a certain amount of haircuts so I can unlock all of them. But right, it's, it's not that important. Let's do a hairstyle. Alright, I'm just going to do a random one again and see what happens. Let's try something a little more formal. Not all the way, just partly. Alright, and let's see... I want to business or private occasions. I'm a mayor. I want to. I'm gonna look, bus, look the business model way. All right. I am I appropriate business out new or and fresh or to prefer vintage. I like a vintage look. I run around in my straw boater sometimes. All right. So she's picked my hairstyle. Let's do a natural. Uh, yeah, we'll go with natural for now. All right. Let's do a, not totally black, we'll do like a mid-range. It might get my same hair color I used to have, but we'll try it. Alright, let's see what happens. Da -da -da -da. She does like zero work, I think she just, like, the, the, they could have a robot to ask me those questions. And then, uh, what the heck? <laughs> I look, <laughs> I look a little, uh, I don't know, this hairstyle's okay. I'm a little too fancy, like, dappery. It's alright. <laughs> It's definitely not what I was expecting, and it has like a reddish uh, brown hair color to it. I kind of like the color, just the style's a little odd. I wouldn't part my bangs, part, part my hair like that normally. Let's see, you know, I'll just pop this on, <laughs> just to <laughs> cover up a bad haircut. It's okay. But yeah, I'll, have to, I'll keep playing around with that and keep getting haircuts each day just to see what we get, because I think it's kind of fun. Alright, how you doing, Abels? Anything good back here? We got a kid shirt. What's this elephant thing? What are these pants? Frog costume pants! Sweet! I need those to complete my frog costume. I wish I had those when I was wearing my Kappa costume the other day. Military pants. Might as well buy those. I could go with Solid Snake or something if I get an eye patch. This shirt is pretty sweet. I gotta get this. <laughs> it's an elephant shirt. I can't resist, man. And then that's a red flannel. I think I already have that. So let's, uh, let's head on out. I'm, I'm gonna pop on my elephant tee, though, because that is sweet. And then what pants do we wear? Let's put on my frog pants. I'm just going crazy. I look really weird. <laughs> How's it going, Sable? <laughs> nope. How are you? When I see the sky glazer, sky glazer of the clouds... Oh, she's talk talking about making her vivid patterns like she did yesterday. Uh, it's still cloudy. We're almost out of the rainy season, luckily. And you got accessories from the bell? What is that? It's like a little pigtail. A braided wig. Now let's let's try it on. And then there's an orange head. There's no pear hat. I look like Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> no thanks. And then, uh... It, oh, it changed to my hair color. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that they did that. Oh, there's another beak. And then an orange hat. I don't really need the... Or whatever that is. Tangerine or something. I don't think there's a... Uh, pear hat is what I meant, because, uh, you know, Gustin's all about pears. Um, anyways, what else do we need to check? We can go get our joke from Dr. Shrunk while we're over here, I hope. Let me grab a pear out of my inventory. Usually I do the joke, like, at, at the end, but that's because I'll often play, like, too early in the morning to see the joke. So let's do our joke, and then I'll head back to Town Hall. We're going to run in there, do our public works project, and be done. Hey, how's it going? Let's grab you. I, I, I need to bring him something different one of these days. I keep giving him a pair, but he seems to like it, so... He doesn't get out much. He's in here constantly cleaning, vacuuming, standing around in this corner, or dancing. 
He doesn't seem... He worked hard to open this place, but I don't see him doing that much or being that essential now. Alright, let's check out his joke routine. Always a barrel of chuckles with this guy. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My Glee joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. <laughs> is it a joke about the show Glee? You know, I'm so happy right now because I remember something that happened a while back. Wanna know what happened? I had my palm read, and the fortune teller said to me, Shrunk, your palm tells me much. You are very daring. I was happy to hear that, so I began dancing around. Then I said to her, Tell me more, please. And she said, Shrunk, I can see that no one laughed at your jokes. Still, you go on stage every day, Shrunk. It is so daring to be as unfunny as you are. Can you believe it? That made me the most daring comic in the biz. Yeah, right. Man. Markety smackety, wackety smackety doo. Alright. <laughs> so let's check out the new glee emotion. Throw that in my ghost. My, I almost said ghost book. My joke book. Oh, I get to sing. That's a nice one. Alright. We've filled up. Jeez, are there really that many emotions? That's cool. There's so many. I've only got five of what looks to be like 20 or more emotions on each page. So it's like 40 or something. I wonder if they just give you more room than you need. Anyone happen to be over here? Nope. Okay. Let's head back to town and we will do our public works project before heading out. Yeah, the main street's really starting to come to life and feel more like an actual city. Now that I've got a supermarket, a, a place for people to dream, that essential of every city, <laughs> all that stuff. Okay, we're gonna head down to Town Hall. I gotta keep my eyes open for some nocturnal bugs. I usually go to the island to hunt beetles, but um, I could probably start doing that on my own shores. They, they won't be as prevalent, I don't think, but at, at least I won't have to pay Captain to ride over on the boat. But I have so many palm trees, it's like there's gotta be beetles. All right, public works. Anything new? I know somebody requested something. It was like some type of satellite, or a, I got a couple of requests. So this is the one I want to pay for. Oh my god, it's a manhole and it's so expensive. <laughs> All right, so that's the one I'm probably gonna do. But let's check out um, what other stuff. There's two new ones at least, I think. Not the modern street. Where is it? Archway sculpture. Whoa, that's kind of cool. It reminds me of a dinosaur bone. And the parabolic antenna. Huh, it almost looks like a satellite dish thing. That's all right. The lighthouse I want to do eventually here, but we're gonna we're gonna uh, appease Mr. Resetti. And we're gonna build the reset center, even though it barely does anything from what I've heard. We can talk to Mr. Resetti though, but that so that's cool enough in its own, because uh, he he's not gonna talk to us much if I don't reset or anything like that. Um, the reset center should be somewhere tucked away, away from everyone, so that he doesn't bug them. So I'm thinking maybe down here in this corner, like right here in front of this tree, might be a good spot for it. Let's see if she'll let me build it here. Yes, Mayor. Yeah, what do you think? Too close to the cliff. Hmm. One left and one right, two blocks back. Straight on till morning. What if I shook these and uh, moved it back a little more? I could probably get rid of this tree so that I can fish better. Let's try right where you're standing now, Isabel. Does that look up a little better? Or... Alright, let me see what it looks like. I'm just probably going to get rid of some of my stumps. There we go. That looks good. I got rid of one of my lychee trees, but I can plant another one. I like that. It's kind of tucked away in a corner. I can at least see it each day, but it's not like, you know, right in the middle of everything. I probably won't be building anything like bigger over here anyways. Okay, see you, Isabel. Alright, and this is the reset center. It's probably going to take me a while to pay that off. Now I have a much clearer view of the waterfall to do all my stuff there. i got to plant one of my lychee trees here. But anyways, that is pretty much it for me today, guys. Oh, the other thing I wanted to sh There's one more thing I wanted to show you. Let me see if I can get my lychee tree in here. That's too close to that other one. I'll, I'll find a spot for it later. I wanted to show you guys something at my house, though. Because, uh... I noticed this, and it's going to happen more and more. One of the first perfect uh, pear trees that I planted grew and died. Oh, there's ants eating my rotten pear. So I shook it, and the leaves fell off, and I got two perfect pears and one rotten. I left the rotten pear here, and now there's ants eating off of it. They don't even care if I step on them. So this is what's going to happen, and I'm going to need a better axe, like the silver axe from the island or the gold axe from leaf eventually. 
because we're gonna have to cut down and replant a ton of perfect pear trees. Anyways, that's that's just what happens to your perfect trees. They turn to these little stumpy things. It kind of looks cool. Oh crap! Forgot about the mailbox. Don't let them see me. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.